Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Chris Langley. I teach history at Newman University and I'm the co-director on the project Mapping the Scottish Reformation. Now Mapping the Scottish Reformation takes information from manuscripts held in the National Records of Scotland, puts them into this service wiki data that you're going to find out about today and then makes that data accessible to non-specialists in easy to use formats. And what I want to show you today is how to start using this resource Wikidata with this 88 million items as you can see and to try to not only understand what's on there but how you can extract even more information um, to run your own queries and to answer the questions that you have. So here we are, we're on Wikidata right now and I'm logged in and I want to show you one of the um, people uh, or the types of people that we're interested in on mapping the Scottish Reformation. So there's a, a quite spicy minister in Midlothian in the 17th century by the name of Gideon Penman and I want to show you Gideon Penman for a number of reasons. Now you can watch other tutorials that explain Wikidata and how they uh, split up entities but the key thing we need to know here is that individuals, places, even concepts on Wikidata can be split into properties. And you can see here that it's instanced of, he's given this P31 number, gender is a P21 number, occupation, ministers who are interested in our project, P106, educated at is P69, and then you can see each answer has a corresponding item, which is a Q number. Okay, so you can see that huge Q number for the University of Edinburgh, and for Minister there's another Q number, and so on, and so on. So the power of Wikidata lies in the fact that everything is encoded like this. If something has a P number, if something has a Q number, if something even has a qualifier underneath it, like um, the references that you can see here, whatever's in that schema, you can search for. And you don't need to know the answer before you start. And that's the real power of Wikidata. That's the reason we use it on mapping the Scottish Reformation. So how do you eke out this power? Well, the key is the Wikidata query service and it's on this left hand side navigation menu here um, and if I just open that in a new tab and keep Gideon Penman open for you you'll see what comes up this kind of dauntingly uh, open white space. Now the Wikidata query service requires some working knowledge of the Sparkle language but I'm here to tell you that it's very easy to learn at least parts of it. Okay, so what I'd like to do is to look for other ministers like Gideon Penman who, and where they were educated in particular. And if we go back to my tab with Penman, you can see we already know he's a minister and we know he was educated at the University of Edinburgh. But how, how similar is he to other ministers? So let's see if we can do this on the Wikidata query service. So before we do anything, we need to tell Wikidata what we're looking for, what we want it to churn out at the end. And because I'm looking for ministers, I'm gonna write that I'm looking for ministers. That's my label. Now, now I need to tell the query service where I'm going to look for this data, where is it going to run this query. So if we put where and then the curly brackets there and then we tell it that we're going to look for a minister. So it's everything about our minister here. And we need to know his, um, we need to be able to filter the millions of people that are on Wikidata just to those people who have the occupation minister. And you can see here the occupation of minister is P106. So I'm going to put in WDT P106. 
when I press space and hover over it, I can just check that I'm right. Yes, that's occupation. And now I can put WD. And now I want to look for all the ministers. And they, there's minister. If I hover over it, there's this huge great Q number. So what I can do is I can just highlight that. Go back into my query, put the Q number in. Hover over it and I know I'm looking for ministers. Put a full stop there just to say that I finished that line. That's really important. Put another little squiggly bracket at the end there. Ask it to run. Happy days. There's over 5,000 uh, ministers on Wikidata, and that's ministers who um, have the religious occupation in Christianity of a minister, not a political minister. So that's wonderful. Um, what a brilliant load of results I could I can leave now. Well, unfortunately I can't because this minister, this Q8027, I don't know who the hell this guy is. So we need to find out who he was. And to do that, we need to ask Wikidata to convert that item number into a human readable label. And the way we do that is to use um, the inbuilt Wikidata labeling service. And what's wonderful here is I can just search on the examples on the Wikidata query service for and just crib lines of code that people have written before. And the one that I always keep on, on, my, uh, on my clipboard to copy and paste is the query service. So if I just right click this one and just show you what I'm talking about, this is the line here this service and there are a number of services on Wikidata that you can use that kind of make your life a little easier so if I go back to my query now I've copied that get rid of that I can now put the service in and if I go up here what I need to do is tell it to give me the human label so I just write minister and this is the really key bit capital L label Is it gonna work? Yes, it is, there you go. So as well as minister in this uh, column in our results now, we have uh, the minister label as well. And you can see there are absolutely loads of them. So that's really a, an opening gambit. But of course I said to you, I wanna find out where these guys were educated. So we can try and do that. So I want to find out something else about our minister now. So question mark minister. And then I'm going to look for a property. But I'm not going to go back to that Gideon Penman file because I can do something else. You might have seen the thing float up at the bottom of the screen. Press control space. And I am going to search here by keyword for that property. And there it is, educated at. Just to make sure we're right. P69, we have educated at, for Gideon Penman, P69. So I've got P69 there and I want P69 to do something else for me because that's the guy's uh, alma mater. So I'm just gonna put there alma. And of course I want it to come up in my results. So alma needs to go at the top. And then I can drill through this again. And it shows me now another, uh, another column in my results here on the right hand side. You can see they're not human readable again. So what I can do at the top is just tell it to give me the alma mater label. Hello, there it is alma mater label so I can see the exact university not just a key number for the item of the university so things are getting kind of interesting here but let's go another layer down and find out something else about our minister so question mark minister I want to know where this guy lives because there's ministers there's 1977 ministers on here some of which um, aren't of interest to me in my capacity working in mapping the Scottish Reformation. So what I want to do now 
is to find out where these people live. So what I want to do is if I put in the WDT, I can press control space and I want to look where they live. So the residents. And if we go back to Gideon at the top here, my example, you can see residents there is P551. And we've got P551. But of course, that's the minister's residence. So now I want to bring this out as another column. So I can say residence, lovely, put it at the top. So it comes out as an extra column. I'll ask it to execute the query and to run the thing. And you can see there it goes again. You're learning the lessons here already. Residence is in one of those terrible queue numbers. So all I need to do, press um, type in label and it tells me where they live as well. And you'll notice now that a lot of the people who you see in front of you were educated and lived in Scotland. The reason for this is because in mapping the Scottish Reformation, this is how we've structured our data to use alma mater, residence and minister as an occupation. So we're starting to filter through to our results now. To, even though we've never seen all these results together, we've just been pulling them out of manuscripts, but now with Wikidata we can see all of them coming up. So there you go, that's all of the results there. You can see the full Wikidata entry on the left hand side, but you get these, um, these nice kind of labelled results as well um, on this table. And you can change what your, your results look like on the side here, um, and table reading is, is the default option. But what if I want some more fun with this? Well, let's find out more about where these people live. So if we look at residents, for example, we can ask Wikidata to pull the coordinates of those residences. So if I put coordinate location onto here, you can see there P625 and I can add this as an extra element in my um, query at the top so it's going to be a new column and I can run the query again and you can see it puts some coordinates on there too. And that's lovely if you can make uh, maps in your head but now you'll see when you click on the view options that map has appeared and when map appears you can see all of them and you can drill into these guys a little bit more you can see they're from all over the place a lot of them in Scotland this is the part of Scotland we're exploring in our project and you can see it's a nice little label there etc so that's a really simple way to, to do that but there are some other kind of modifications here that, I, that I'd really like um, to show you and in particular I want to show you how to refine some of these labels here um, because as you can see it's not full screen the labels look a little bit ugly so what I want to do is just to show you some of the things about how to um, format those labels so you can see on our top line we have what we want um, the query to, to pull out for us. But if we press enter and we leave that top line free, we can create some defaults. And you can see if I put a hashtag, it allows me to automatically pick what view I want to default to in the search results. So if I put default view map, next time I press the query, it will, should, yes, automatically show it me as a map not a table and of course if you want any other sort of view you can just put the hashtag in again and it will show you what to what to do so you can have it as a timeline or an image grid or a, or a, a map or whatever so we'll keep it as map so that's that's what our uh, default query is but remember still these labels don't look that great you know, nobody wants to see those coordinates if you've got a, an external user. And we've been creating a lot of mock-ups 
I mean, we've been really aware that our users don't want to see those those um, bits of extraneous information. They just want the data that they've come for. So to remove that coordinate, what we need to do is we need to ask Wikidata to hide some things and be a little bit sneaky about it. So on that top line by default view, I need to tell it what to hide. And on this occasion, what I want to do is to hide, um, I want to hide those coordinates. So I'm going to put in speech marks, hide, it would help if I was in lowercase, hide, colon, and then I'm going to tell it which things I want it to hide on the label. So coordinates is definitely, definitely one of them. Now, if I finish that off with the square bracket and the cur uh, curly bracket, you see I'll run the query again, it will default to the map. Okay, it will default to the map. I zoom in on some of these guys that I'm really interested in. You can see we don't have that that nasty um, that nasty coordinate now. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it's given you a sense of some of the ways you can explore Wikidata. Uh, how you can query that data, but also how you can refine some of the ways in which Wikidata results present themselves to you, but also to your users as well. So thank you very much for, for watching. Please stay tuned for more updates from our project mapping the Scottish Reformation. And um, please enjoy using the power of Wikidata.